So I want to talk about proportions for a couple minutes. A proportion is a comparison of two equal ratios. So basically it's an equation that sets two fractions equal to each other. So a simple fraction is one half. Now if I wanted to make a proportion out of this, I would need to think of another fraction that equals one half. Maybe two fourths, for example, because two fourths reduces to one half. These are equal fractions. So there we have a proportion. All you're doing is saying this fraction on the left equals the fraction on the right. Uh, another example, let's say I'm going to do two fourths and want to make another one. I could put three sixths because three sixths and two fourths both reduce to one half. So here's another example of a proportion. And let's do one more. Three sixths compares to four eighths. And again, these both reduce to one half. So these proportions actually all say the same thing. It's just with different numbers because they all reduce to one half. So it's like one half equals one half, one half equals one half, and so on and so forth. So with proportions, aside from writing these little fraction equations, you can make an equivalent equation by cross multiplying. It's called a cross product. So if I were to take this 3 sixes equals 4 eighths, and I cross multiply, which means you multiply diagonally across. If I do 3 times 8, and that equals 24, and I can do 6 times 4, which also equals 24. And that's the cool thing about proportions. When you cross multiply, the cross products always equal to each other. So 3 times 8 equals 6 times 4. All these cross products are the same. 2 times 6 equals 4 times 3. 1 times 4 equals 2 times 2. So that's a good way to solve proportions, but it's just another way to illustrate the relationship. I'm going to talk about proportions in terms of a line graph. So let's look at this 1 half. Now when we're graphing and we're talking about, say, slope, for example, remember slope equals rise over run which is also equal to the change in y and we use delta to represent change so change in y divided by change in x so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these proportions and turn them into coordinates and since the y goes on the top of the slope x goes on the bottom of the slope I'm going to use the numerator as the y coordinate the denominator is the x coordinate so I'm going to use the 1, the numerator is the y-coordinate, the denominator 2 in this case as the x-coordinate. So let's make some coordinates. We're going to have 2 comma 1, and the next one is 4 comma 2, and then we're going to have 6 comma 3, and then we're going to have 8 comma 4. Okay, so let me plot these points here. So 2, 1, that's right 2, up 1. And then 4, 2, that's right 4, up 2. And 6, 3, it's going to be right 6 from the origin. And then up 3, so right there. And then 8, 4, it's going to be right here. Now, look at the pattern in these coordinates. These points, they all appear to be in a line. So I'm going to draw a line right through these points. Okay, so there's the line. Now the thing is, what's the slope of this line? Well, you're going up 1 and right 2. So your slope is 1 half. The thing is, any proportion that has this type of pattern that's equal to one half is going to be on this line. The ratio is going to be there. So any ratio that reduces to one half is going to be on this line. So you could say that a proportion represents a line and a proportion represents two ratios, and a ratio is a rate of change. So when we're talking about unitizing ratios, 
that unitized ratio is the slope of this line represented by the ratio or represented by the proportion depending on what you're working with. So another way to work with proportions is actually to draw a line and plot points. So just to review, a proportion is an equation that compares two equal ratios. The cross product when you multiply diagonally for a proportion is always equal. And if you have a proportion, you can plot the points and draw a line through those points. And you can use that line to solve problems. And you can also find the rate of change either by reducing the fraction or by plotting your line and comparing the slope. So there's a lot going on with proportions. It's a very important concept. And you're going to be spending a lot of time working with proportions.